Hello, Paul here, uh, looking at uh, soil plugs, and I wanted to review my soil plugs because these plants are probably going in the ground sometime this week, and this is really my last chance. Um, soil plugs are um, something I tried this year. I made the soil out of a mixture of uh, composted manure, potting soil, and uh, peat moss. <coughs> and uh, they, uh, I initially started the brassicas out at 10 weeks before average day of last frost, and uh, um, then planted them five weeks before the average day of last frost, and then I lost them due to a freeze. <coughs> so that was something I learned. But um, the um, one of the issues that I had was uh, the soil plugs always seem to be wet, too wet, and I partly that's my problem, but they are very susceptible for getting too wet and staying wet. So I'm almost letting them dry out now, um, and they may make it till I plant them, but um, the the trays don't have perforations in the bottom. I'm almost wondering if it's better to put, put them in trays with perforations so they drain and then in order to wet them, drop them in another tray with water in it for a minute or two and then lift it out and uh, let it drain. And that might be a better way to water them. Um, after my uh, uh, plan for next year, if I use soil plugs again, will be to start the brassicas 10 weeks before the average day of last frost, and then four weeks before the average day of last frost, start hardening them off by taking the trays outside. And if I get the perforated trays, that will help a little bit because the issue is if you get rainwater falling in this, um, it cools up and uh, it's, it could uh, very easily, if you miss a rain shower and let it go in here, they could they could fill the tray. And uh, that would be a big problem. So perforated trays, I think, really are the way to go, as well as the tall, pla clear plastic tops, and um, maybe even a uh, old frame of some kind. So um, maybe larger uh, soil plugs. Here's one that didn't uh, germinate. Um, these are, I think these are one and a quarter. They definitely get full of roots um, and not, it seemed to, they seem to be very full of roots after the five weeks that uh, I did grew the brassicas in them. So I may be going to a two inch diameter soil plug and um, the other thing is onions and leeks. For example, here I've got an example of an onion. <clears throat> uh, I saw an, a, a method by Gary Polarchek that looks like a much better method, and what he does is he takes the cells on the typical plastic um, mini cell trays, 72 I think, are in a, a tray and he overseeds the cells quite a bit and uh, lets them grow and then uh, just breaks them apart and, and plants them from there. And I, I think that's a much better way, a better space-saving way. And, uh, so I don't think I'll be doing leeks and onions using the saw plug method, but um, it does seem to work good for brassicas. These are all brassicas here. I've got tomatoes here. I've got peppers here. Um, I've got another, a few other herbs uh, coming up, chives. <clears throat> chives are probably another item to be uh, overseeded using cells and then transplanted when they get big enough. So I, I think the soil plugs worked. Um, I may try to use perforated trays. My schedule is going to be 10 weeks prior to average day of last frost to start and four weeks prior to take them outside to harden them out and harden them off and um, uh, of course always pulling them back inside if uh, weather threatens to be under oh, 38 degrees, maybe 40 degrees. So um, I did lose plants to a frost. Uh, actually I think it was a combination of a lot of sun that they were not used to and freezing temperatures, actually 25 degree temperatures, um, 
which was which is quite low for a frost. So uh, I burned them and froze them, and um, so direct or transplanting um, out that early is is not an option where I live. That's that's a bad idea. So those are my thoughts on soil plugs. Uh, I'll probably use them again, and. Um, We'll see if it, how it goes next year. Thank you for watching.